I get out? I'm an airplane. Me. Flying under you. Oh, I see him. Every time he looks over at me, he shakes his head. Oh, you know what? Mini plane wasn't an option. That's what Joe's on. <laughs> he would have. He would have flew a strike. Oh, you mean if I didn't get off? I'd just take it as strike. You know, I mean, he probably wouldn't have mind. Nah. I've seen him do it like three times, so I'm pretty much an expert. I rode with him yesterday. I kind of want to get a ride with him on that thing before I leave. Yeah. I should have talked to him about it. He handed me the brakes and then honked my boot. Is that Max with us again? Yep. Sean, Max. I Joe should have my recording. This is like the whole crew. It is. Uh, the, o- the OG crew, even. Yeah. Do you know what wing he flies? It's like the class of 2018. <laughs> Joe could put us on a other light flight. Is that Joe going in for a landing? I think Joe just landed. Oh, shit. And uh, Sean just landed on the beach. You okay? Are you going to land? I was thinking about it. I don't know what Martin's going to do, though. I'm going to fly for a bit, because this is my only flight today. Okay. Unless unless I talk Joe and it takes me up on his his strike. Check out these toys. He's running away. But I wanted to come watch you. Spinning Brody's bra. Oh, that looks like a heart, kind of. Yeah. Yeah, somebody got stuck in the seat over here. Was it just me? I got stuck in the sand yesterday. So yesterday, I took off, and my beater was sideways. So there's all this beautiful sand out here. I just figured I'd land, fix it, and take back off. Yesterday was kind of a rough day. And so I landed, fixed my beater, laid my wing back out, and was getting ready to take back off. Nope. Motor would start. I think it was a combination of low battery and improper spark plug gap. So anyway, I was stranded out there. Uh, it's, it was back here a ways. And uh, and so I called Nick to come get me. But this, it was like an hour before sunset. So everybody and their mother is trying to take off right now at that time. And so he's got the truck waiting to come on the beach to get me. And he's just waiting there because everybody's laid out trying to take off. And I'm, you know, I, I would have liked to get back in the air. All I really needed was to swap batteries. Yeah. And then, so Nick gets stuck in the sand in my truck trying to come get me. It's just, you know, it's just a two wheel drive. And then, so we needed a rescue truck for the rescue truck. But in the end, he got to my truck, and I'm a little flustered at this point. And I load, I load my truck, fair motor onto my truck, and just shove my wing into the back seat, thinking I'll just pack everything when I get back and deal with it later. And then, as I was putting my motor in my truck, I bumped my prop on my tailgate and it cracked and then oh uh, I just you know a rough day gets a little rougher and uh, I you know 
I usually handle stuff like this is pretty good, and I, and I did. It was okay. It's not the end of the world. And uh, of all the ways to break a prop, that feels like one of the dumber things. But it happened. You know, nothing lasts forever. It, it, you know, I didn't get hurt. You know, I didn't wreck my motor. I didn't hurt anybody else. Everything else is fine. You know, I didn't chop up my wing. There's a, of all the ways to break a prop, not only is it the stupidest way, but it's also, you know, it didn't hurt anything else or anybody else. And so, that, you know, it could have been worse. And, uh, and luckily, Mike Masterson, shout out to Mike, he had a prop. So he hooked me up, and, uh, you know, it's the ups and downs of flying, right? If I was just out here with my friends, and four of us were flying on a long weekend, and I broke a prop, well, I might not have had a spare, because I'm the only one that flies a nitro, and they've got a different uh, bolt radius than what everybody else flies, so... It's, uh, it's really cool that everybody out here is just willing to help everybody. And, oh, there's a chair. Uh, it looks like trash. Somebody just left it. Oh, well. I'd drive out to come get it, but I'd probably get stuck, and then my truck would be trash. We wouldn't want that to happen. Man, these flights are a lot of fun. There's a lot of traffic in the LV. So, uh, a little disconcerting if you're not super comfortable with takeoffs and landings. You got a bunch of people watching you, and and, uh, and there's also like not a bit. I mean, the landing area is pretty big, but because there's so many people laid out and waiting their turn and warming up their engine, it's uh, it gets a little frustrating when you're like, hey, I kind of want to land, but there's people laid out, this and that. But it's not too bad. You just have to manage your expectations. Like, hey, I know uh, and it's going to be busy. It's cool because there's a little bit of everything. Earlier today, we saw somebody doing sick acro. And then you got jerks that like to bust the LZ or do acro in the LZ when everybody's trying to take off or lay out their wing and shit. But you also get people that have been around the sport forever and you got the guy that wrote the Bible out here, uh, Jeff Going, and Joe, you okay? Oh, he's, he's on the phone with somebody. I wonder if he doesn't. Oh, well, I got dueling. Yeah. I mean, it's a lot of fun. They, they did some cl- some of the more experienced guys did some tandem clinics and some instructor clinics, and you get a lot of people to learn from, and you see a lot of different wings, motors. It, it's really great. Plus, if you have any problems, there's a ton of people with a ton of different parts and such. You know, when I go fly with Dick and Joe on my own, it's like we just set up and go. We don't have to wait for anybody, but... Yeah, yeah, it's a give and take. So there's good and the bad, and overall, it's a very cool experience. I highly recommend it. And just to see so many wings up in the air, it's so pretty. And of course, you know the setting for this and the weather was awesome. We got really lucky. At what point in history is this kind of shenanigans acceptable? You know. And we're all trying to be safe. Nobody's trying to hurt anybody. We're all just out here having fun playing. And it's just amazing. You know, it's a good time to be alive. You know, part of me wants more people to do it because it's a lot of fun. And the video doesn't do it justice. Like, this is amazing. And it's so free-feeling to just fly especially without like a cockpit or anything around me and uh you know i wish i could share with more people but at the same time 
I, uh, you know, I kind of like it not being a lot of people doing it because, you know, the more people that do it, the more people that are going to be upset about people doing it. I think this guy's trying to land. Huh? I'll come back. Ha, ha, ha.